and called the total destruction of Hamas translates to the victory or satisfaction Israel truly wants. How would Palestine feel about all these? Well, TBC's foreign affairs correspondent, Mayor Thomas, seeks some answers to these pertinent questions in this report. Many countries and individuals have condemned in strong terms actions of the Hamas group against Israel. This appears to be the right thing to do, considering the level of destruction and human lives lost in the last six days since the hostilities broke out. As heartbreaking and devastating as the war has been, it has also made people ask some deep and pertinent questions, such as, where does Palestine stand in all this? It is very fair. It is very human. Just listen to us. Come and listen to us. Take us to interview. Give us the chance to tell our... The, the, our part of the story, this is the first message. The second message to the international community, it's time to put an end to the Israeli occupation. And to do so, there is many and unlimited tools, diplomatic, political, polite, legal um, um, tools that you can use it to put an end to uh, Israeli occupation. As much as Israel has repeatedly stressed that it is not at war with Palestine, but with Hamas, the ambassador thinks otherwise. Not true. It's a war against the Palestinian people. Hamas was also just started uh, or um, created 30 years ago, while the Israeli occupation uh, 56 years ago, uh, started 56 years ago. So that Hamas came as Hamas and all any uh, any uh, Palestinian liberation movement, any Palestinian freedom fighter uh, movement or organization is came as a consequence of the Israeli occupation, not as uh, uh, before the, the Israeli occupation. This is our legitimate right. This is a pure leg this is a pure human uh, issue to uh, resist the occupation in Africa. Did you uh, accept the occupation, the foreign occupation? You are uh, in Africa. A lot of all of you resisted the occupation in Africa. Why the Palestinians should not uh, uh, resist this uh, brutal occupation? Why the Palestinians should give up uh, and surrender to the uh, Israeli occupation? This is not the human. This is not legitimate. This is not right. I also wanted to know what was really important to the people and government of Palestine at a time like this. And he says it is to see international law and UN resolutions properly applied. He, and maybe majority of Palestinians, want international community to stop treating Israel as a state above the law. Whether Israel enjoys a treatment such as this is left for global affairs analysts to help us make a sense of. We ended the interview with the ambassador giving affirmation that Palestine will rebuild Gaza and continue to resist all occupation of its territory. Moya Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.